this screencast we'll look at some ways of getting images into your presentations and some of the simple tools you can use to make your images look as good as possible. It's easy to insert images into PowerPoint. You just need to go to the Insert tab and then if you've already got some images you can click on Picture. Although the photographic clip art these days is also quite good. Uh, I'm just going to select photographs here. Let's say we want some football images. There's quite a nice selection here. If you're using other people's images, you need to be quite careful about copyright issues. Uh, you can find usable images through Creative Commons. It's very easy to edit images. You can resize images by first selecting them and then dragging on the circular handles in the corner of images, like so. Try and avoid using these square handles because they will distort the image. As well as resizing the whole image, you can decide to crop the image to remove unwanted parts. So again, I've selected the image. Then if I go to its format tab here, I can click on this crop button. And this replaces the circles and squares with bars, which I can then use any of them to crop away at the image that I don't want. Click on the crop button again, and those parts of the image are removed. There's another quite useful feature, the Remove Background tool. This makes a guess at what you might want to keep in an image and what you might want to remove in the background. Again, I'll just select the image. And on the Picture Tools tab, there's a Remove Background tool here. This makes quite an intelligent guess about what's, uh, what parts of the image you might want to keep. Uh, but in this case, it thinks this light switch is actually part of my arm so I'm just going to mark that for removal just by drawing a line across it and again it makes an intelligent guess about what to remove. I can then decide to keep these changes and hey presto it's removed all the background. Another recent addition to PowerPoint is the screenshot tool uh, on the insert toolbar again. This allows you to copy either the whole of your computer screen or a section of it and place that image right into a slide. So I just click on screen clipping here. This takes me back to my screen and let's say I just want to take this part of it. Just grabs that and places it onto a slide and again that can be edited like any other image. And finally, in the Picture Tools tab, I can permanently remove cropped areas and compress all my images or just some of them. This can make a great difference to the size of your presentation and make it much more robust and more portable. So here are some of the lots of different ways you can contact us. And if you have any questions, comments, or you'd like to recommend topics for future screencasts, please use the comments section below.